Welcome back, folks. Today we're going to be playing a game. Uh, it's one of the Dark Pictures anthology games. I generally love these type of games where whatever you choose can completely change the whole course of the game. Characters are not safe. They can die. You can completely mess up and kill everybody. Or you can save everybody. But this one is Little Hope, and I've never played it. I didn't even know about it. I had House of Ashes already downloaded. I didn't know this one came before it, so I went ahead and downloaded it too. But we're going to start this up and see what this is. The, the way you can play this with people? I did not know you could co-op this. I've already played and beaten this one. Little Hope is the one we're doing now. I have this one already. And don't I don't have this one yet, but I saw that it was available. We're just going to be playing this alone. I do have a friend's pass for House of Ashes. This one may have came with one as well. I didn't even look. Could be. I might, I might find somebody to do a co-op playthrough of one. Obviously, it's going to be a new story we haven't played yet. We're going to do it on challenging. I don't want to do it on easy because I'm afraid it'll be way too easy. But I don't want to do it on the hardest difficulty because I don't want to kill everybody. All right, let's get in here. Uh, we're going to play with a mouse and keyboard because I don't know the controller well enough to under stress hit the buttons. I noticed that there's a wicker man in the, or an effigy of some sort in the O. So is this going to be like witchcraft shit? I, I don't know what the game is actually about. I didn't look. Wait, where did the people on the bus come from? Wasn't he on the bus alone a second ago? This is so loud, Jesus. Hello, Mr. Officer. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Uh, you're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. We gotta turn his volume down after this cutscene is loud. Is that bus gonna fit? Oh, okay. Fucking sleepy hollow bridge he's driving down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Christ. You rub that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. Right. How long have you been sober? Two days shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down, it's all okay. Oh, hey. please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please?
what is sparking under the middle of the back of the bus? Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is You're not is the me? only one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Can you pause it? Okay, let's uh, we gotta turn this volume down. Holy shit. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days. Getting predictable. Like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. Dennis is kind of a little bitch. It's curled up his ass. Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. You walking around looking all creepy and shit for? <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Oh. Jesus! You scared me, sweetheart! I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Creepy little shit. Why is she barefooted? Where are your shoes at? You steal a key? I'm so confused. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. This sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. What do you mean, Knight in Shining Armor? Today? Probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her. I'm probably gonna have to change the sensitivity as soon as it lets me. Press and hold, pick up objects, use... I'm guessing that's the mouse wheel?
wouldn't let me examine, so. to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. You sound creepy as fuck. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? No. Not at all. The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Thanks, Dad. Don't you got some milk to go get and not come back? Uh, use W to move. Okay. Oh, God. Maybe we should use a controller. This is going to be a nightmare on mouse and keyboard. If I have to run from something. We'll give it a shot. But I think this is going to be a complete nightmare. It's already a nightmare. All right, we're plugging in a controller. I can't, <laughs> I can't do that. Hold up. I'm gonna get this whole family killed if I try to use the mouse and key to run away from something. Okay, let's see if that fixed it. Now, the thing is, I don't know what the A, X, Y, and B buttons are just like off the top of my head because I don't use a controller very often. So, left, right, you're gonna pick it up. Perfect distraction from this madhouse. Oh, it's so much easier to turn things and look at them too, though. Okay. Who's smoking a joint? Wait, am I supposed to do something else with this? Right trigger. No? Okay, cool. Go over here, check this out. Okay, I'm not going to go out the door yet. Let's go see what else we can pilfer. The New England Witch Trials. Yes. Yeah, oh, it is going to be like witches then. Okay, cool. $7.99. Isn't that expensive for back then? This looks like it's set in old times. Uh, oh, we're supposed to be checking on Tanya. Hold on. Let's make sure the door is locked. She's hard to look around. There may be hidden information. So why would you tell me that? And then not really let me look. I don't see shit. Okay, so what's the, uh, what's the sprint button now that I'm, Anthony, where the hell are you? Oh my God, woman. Anthony, where are you? God damn it. Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. Why are you mad at me? Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. Oh, what is this little... You could be right about my family. Who are you talking to? Yo, you, don't you... Don't you touch that. I think so, too. Oh, shit, Daniel. I saw the hand. What's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. It's not about to be freezing in a minute. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Well, that's not good. Fire would not spread that quickly, by the way. Shit! Megan! Not with that stuff. You in there? Not with that fuel load. That's linoleum. Unless they poured gasoline before they did it. The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan, you little shit, open the door. How in the hell are you still asleep? 
Oh, he's stuck in the... Everybody's... Well, actually, the chick... The sister Where should be okay. Everybody? She's on the balcony. Anthony, help! We better jump. You better jump too. Oh, she's she's the mom's the mom's screwed. Anthony, hey, up here! What the fuck are you doing up there? I got trapped in the attic. Get to the balcony. Anthony, help! You should just leave Megan in there. She started the damn fire. Bro, pick up this shovel. No drunk ass here. Okay, mom's dead. That's uh That's unfortunate. Where's the little chick? Where's the little sister? Tanya, hold on. I got to get Megan out. Tanya's fine. Oh shit. Oh shit. I thought she'd be fine since the little demon dude was with her, but don't go inside you. You make stupid being an art form. What are you doing? I'm, I'm mad at this game. I'm, I'm mad at the game. I'm mad at Tanya. Tanya's an idiot. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Um... This just went the worst possible way it could go. I killed everybody. I killed the whole family. What have you done? Mom, stop! And then he runs back inside. First off, Tanya is an idiot. Oh. On the balcony, you're safe. Oh, you gotta jump out, maybe a broke leg. Who gives a shit? You go back into the... Mm. So stupid. Hello. And welcome back. I have a new story for you. It's very different to the last. Yes, yeah, dumb so far. Got some chick going back into a burning building for no reason. Tanya deserved it. I'm not I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Look, don't play with me. Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? 
you are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose. Well, it's going to be super confusing then because I'm terrible. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. Okay. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational, Everybody's going to die. Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. Don't give me this fortune cookie shit. What are you looking for? But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. Yeah, I'm going to probably miss them all. a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Wait, I have a funeral to attend. Who died? Mm. Like, there's nobody else left. Everybody died, didn't they? None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from a the knowledge. Small funeral, the like, there's like three family. people standing there. For eternity. Anya, yeah. In God's loving embrace. Oh, is it the boyfriend? Tanya's boyfriend, okay. Small turnout. Is it a small town or did nobody like these people? That's not foreboding at all. Who's this? Wait, how are you live? Wait, his name was Anthony in the prologue, <clears throat> wasn't it? Who is Andrew? Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Are these not the same Instead characters from the house? You fire? want to lend a hand here? How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. She cute. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Consider it. Relationship added. Hey, Andrew, buddy. How you doing? Where are we? What happened? 
Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaking up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. <clears throat> piece of crap may as well be dead okay take it easy we'll figure out what to do these are definitely the same people she just has a different haircut Ugh. that was in other guys a dad obviously adam warlock is the uh the guy who was anthony this is the other brother fuck where's my phone yeah that's the first thing i ask when i fly out of a bus Damn it, old, where's my cell phone? Who's that? That's the mom. She definitely looks better now than she did. Hey, anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too. Thanks for asking. <clears throat> you okay down there? I'm all right. Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Yeah, we turned sideways. Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. Where is the driver? He down there, by the way? Never mind. Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. Man, you better climb that shit. There. That's a plan. See you soon. You <coughs> can't climb now? Are you serious? Hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. R who are you? Oh, shit. It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John. You're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. Uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. I'm glad I hit the right button. Teamwork at its finest. Because I do not know these buttons. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. Like, dude, we ain't on a field trip right now. I know you think you're in charge, but... Bitch. Oh, I'm playing her. Can't believe the driver. Just taking off like that and ditching us. Oh, I gotta go look. There's a, there's a thing. Didn't realize. LB moves faster. Could just be... Hey, Daniel, you guys. I am not a guy. How are you two doing down there? This trail is the pits, but we're okay. This little detour is ruining my clothes. Who is she? That's the headline here. Your clothes are ruined? Really? Easy. That outfit probably cost more than you earned in your life. My money's in the green. Don't you worry. Money. That's what she wants to hear about. Hey, what's happening here? Not much. I'm just keeping their spirits up. Daniel, you got your phone? Mine's got zero signal. I guess it fell out during the crash. We staying here all night? We're gonna keep moving. See ya. Goodbye, love you. I assume Don... Here's this little creepy chick. I assume Daniel, Daniel and Tanya are together. Where is the... LB is faster. Okay. RB is a bearing update. Girl, you better not be using your phone. Put that shit down. We're gonna run out of battery and then we're gonna be screwed. 
Welcome to Unreadable. Abandon hope. That's unreadable? That That's unreadable. You can't read that? Looks like one of the, if you're not a robot, read this things. Mm, one dash place? through it. Little hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. How do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. I read books. <laughs> all my Easy guns came with manuals. Match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Oh, oh it was saying I was curious. Why is deceitful locked over there? Secrets. Bearings. <laughs> Weird. Okay, anyway. This chick's cute. I like the pixie haircut. She's rocking that shit. You just take a bump. Good to see you two. Finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. Bro, you better climb that. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Razor wire. Take her or his coat Look off. Around. Throw it over see the top. Anything we climb can over. To break it. Don't act like I ain't ever broke into something before. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. <laughs> What's the plan now? Go back get to the bus. Town, see if we can get help. Go back to the you bus. Know where town is? This is why white people die sure, in horror we're movies. Near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Say nothing. Bad things happened here a long time ago. Which you are dying to tell us all about. I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about Go back to the bus? You come with me back to the bus. Okay. I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'll be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. I'm gonna be honest. Why would you walk into a town that you've never? Oh, okay, how you doing? Get lost? Oh great. No back here this doesn't add up this is some very weird shit going on here no you think spare us all first he loses his pride then he loses his way what are you trying to say that you've lost it it's not possible look i don't know what you're trying to prove here but we've got better things to do daniel Whoa. hey careful watch out quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here the two of us will go together this is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. I'm just in an emergency situation. Even if you're like a high school kid and there's an adult around and some crazy shit's going on like this, you're, you're not a teacher anymore. You're just a person. What? what? I walked away from you. We're trapped here. There's no way out. I, I don't understand. She's right. We walk dead straight going away from you. So, how'd we end up back here? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. 
We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. Especially that old battle face bitch you in the back. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. No, stay back there. We don't want you with us. You've been nothing but negative this whole time, Sharon. Or, what's her name? Whatever her name is, I don't remember her name. <laughs> what is her name? I admit that is a little odd. Oh, now you... Oh, Angela. Angela. A little. Now you're on board. See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying. We are trapped. We can't leave here. Calm down. Now okay. What do we do? Calm down. Please. They see? There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Why is he echoing? Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah. Nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is let's, way let's out calm down. of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. We're gonna we're gonna apologize because that was Sorry. out of line. That was out of line. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. What is this echo? It's, it's killing okay. me. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job. Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Right now. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Okay, he's running the show. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. I'm calling it now. We have to work together as a team. Andrew right. is the one that's got, like, everything is revolving around now him. let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? You want to stay here? Let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Am I playing her again? I am playing her again. Get close to Daniel. Stop running. This is as fast as I can walk. I have little Why legs. You say we might all be dead. You really think that's possible? Yes. I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you, you know. You die? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's not collective. What they said didn't really stack up. Oh, un gato. Un gato. Wait, wait, come back. Where's the cat? Can I go back and talk to the cat? Well, it said stay close to Daniel. I really want to go see where the cat went, though. I don't like the look of that place at all. Maybe they won't ask for ID. Did you all see that? What was that? Did I see? I didn't. I missed it. I'm not what sure was it? This is such a great Shit, idea. I missed it. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. There could be a killer inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Oh, yeah, the concussed guy. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is onto us. What are you f Are you in a cult? What did you two talk about? She was digging around like she always does. Who gives a fuck? Let her imagine whatever she wants. If you're in... It drives her crazy. She's an old woman that has nothing to do with anything. Who cares? Are you fucking the I'm old woman? ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon. I promise. Oh. Anything she, I can do to help convince She didn't post you right on Instagram guy. yet. I need to know 100% I can rely on you. Because we all know if, if they don't post you on socials, it's not real. We should catch up with the others. Are we standing here all night or are we going inside? 
I was about to say, I don't see why a teacher would give a shit who's dating who. Unless she's related to one of them or something. A little stabby stab in the ground. Who's this one random person drinking in the bar? Oh, it's going to be the black, uh, the black kid that was dating... What was her name? Tanya? It's going to be the black guy that was dating Tanya in the prologue. 100%. He's the only one that's not Hi showed there. up so far. How you doing? Is it? He looks too old. Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. No, this looks... Never mind, he looks too old. The other guy was young. What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. This guy looks like he's in his 40s. Sorry for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. He certainly looks shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of... Sounds like you could use a drink. Yep. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. <clears throat> it's right there if you change your mind. No. You're already an alcoholic. Not for me. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. Why are you still here? Yeah, if the place is as dead as you say, what are you still doing here? Like Adam Warlock's character, he's, come he's actually doing a good job. You know how it is? Anyway, I can't help you. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> You're talking like four feet away from him. He can hear you. Uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little. No problem. I'm going to take a look around. Oh, shit. Am I going to have to play darts? Uh. You need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> Son, at least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just doing? a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20. Double 20. Use R to aim. Who the fuck's 20? I see the 18. We're just going for. Oh. Okay. So you can play a little. Couldn't even see Go that back. number. Now for triple 20. Oh, okay, I see. I, I couldn't see the 20, though. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. Thanks for ruining it all. <laughs> that is one hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. I boosted morale. I'm whooping ass at darts over here. I'm playing as him now, so let's wander. Uh, talk to Vince. Search the bar. We're going to search the bar. Examine. Uh, LSRT. Yeah, I'm not going to remember that. Astrology, spirits, or ghosts. This place has some great history. Reverend Carson will advise parents on signs to watch for and how these things are the left-hand path to delinquency and Satanism. Yeah, that's exactly what we fucking need is a bunch of 
super religious people talking about the devil. Ooze ball is the devil. Can I not go behind the bar? I guess not. Uh, hello, how you how you doing, Vince? Let's uh, can I go back here? There we go. Let's go. What's this? Oh, telephone. Hell yeah. Let's call one nine hundred number. No ringtone. That fuck. That's not ideal. Not ideal at all. Alright, let's uh, come back out here, I guess. Uh, let's go back to the door. Actually, let's go over here. Can we talk to these guys? Okay. Nope. That old battle axe doesn't care. There's something on this table. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff over here. Nice. Meeting vote for disincorporation. I vaguely remember what happened here. All the factories closed down. New round of foreclosure spells in for town. At Little Hope Town Hall on Monday, the last residents of the town met with emergency manager Kathy Flint to vote for disincorporation. Since the closure of the Ravenholt Textiles factory, mass exodus has left the town with few inhabitants and empty coffers. Flint was appointed as emergency manager to administer public services to the remaining residents, but the latest round of bank foreclosures mean the last of the townsfolk are planning to pack up and move on, which will leave Little Hope virtually deserted. No tax revenue coming in, we're faced with no option but to disincorporate. So sad, these people have seen their town disappear around them. And that's all it says. All right. Let's put that back down. That's been there for about seven, seven years. What's this? June 6, 1917. I can't believe it. That is old as fuck. Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... Oh, I didn't talk to Vince again. I didn't know we were leaving. You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did... You hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. You don't really think it's follow ominous bells? There's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. You don't, you don't follow bells into the darkness. Come on, bruh. The black cat. Oh, shit. That was a black cat we saw on the road. El Gato Negro. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean? I'm back playing him. I want to walk over here because there's things to click on. Why is this old battle axe coming with me? Go away. Witch's brew? Oh, I get a gun. Rick Grimes. Okay. Apparently, I get a, a revolver at some point, and I'm pointing at uh, something that did not look human. That's always fun. What's this? Church, historical ruin, John, the Johnson home, or something Johnson home, Tilly Johnson home, museum, execution site, and massacre memorial. This sounds sucks. <laughs> Half the things on their map are about ex execution and massacres. Oh, let's go this way. Where did old bitch go? There she is. Oh no, she's over there. What are you looking for? Oh, I can come look too. Okay, he's just chilling at the bar. I mean, that's kind of where we left him. Let's head this way. Deer crossing. Don't like all that noise. About this. 
figure it out. The way this fog just appears, it's not natural. Yeah, no shit. Can you two make an effort to keep up? Can you shut up? Oh, I thought it was taking over like the. I thought, I thought it was a cinematic <laughs> taking up. Oh shit! Jesus fucking Christ! Ugh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hmm. Almost forgot we're playing a horror game. <laughs> Who's the creepy chick? Hey, can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Okay. We really should catch up with the others. You two. We need to stick close. You don't see that thing? Right there? What the hell? Did you hear that? I don't know. I told you I saw some. Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel, Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. <gasps> all right, where are we leaving? I'm out. Oh, wait, can you go down the, uh, can you go down that path? Okay, no. I was, I was stupidly gonna hey, do it. wait for us. What is that? Oh, we're going to walk through the fog and then turn right back around and be at the same spot again. Um. Oh, son of there a bitch. There's something very weird about this fog. Stay close. Well, we're separated now. That's fun. Um. Go this way. Since we can't go anywhere else. Wait, is this just like both sides have fog now? What? I am confusion. So where are we going? Like both sides leave us to the same spot. Are we supposed to go to the left right here? We can't go in here though. Like this is it won't let me walk. Oh, we're supposed to go check out the little whatever this is. Hey. Go check out this come and check this strategically out. placed ring of rocks. What on earth is that? It's a strategically Not placed a ring of rocks. And an effigy or a voodoo doll. It's a voodoo doll. It's got a do thing in the back. A puppet. Hello, puppet. Oh, what's up, girl? <laughs> oh, for me. For fuck's sake. What is your name, sir? The fuck is your name? Come at me all guns blazing. I'm um, Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? 
Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Uh, yes, because I'm afraid come you're going to kill me otherwise. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see what you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. What? Someone else out here. What in the sugary frosted I, fuck I, I is happening? Fire. <laughs> what? I saw them too. Are you okay? How can you not have seen that? I couldn't see anything through this impossible, impenetrable fog. Well, go ahead. Tell them what we saw. She's gonna say nothing. A little girl okay, appeared out of the fog, okay. and then just like that, she was gone again. What is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed. People out. don't get confused Stress together. My ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. I said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but she talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? You want to stay here next to the creepy campfire? Thought not. Must be outside your mind. Oh, is there going to be a predator in the trees? Listen for the clicking noise. No, no predators. Wah, wah. Wait, is the curator singing? Oh no. Well, okay. That escalated rather quickly. You don't Everything say. That one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Nah. Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? Why are you drinking an empty we glass? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them these unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained i mean sinister movements in the forest spirits from the past a little girl who may be in trouble or maybe she simply is trouble mm. anyway where you are don't we? say Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. So far, so good. You're doing well. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful. More than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. Oh, so we need to find the bus driver. Great. All 
Oh, right. Who am I playing as now? Oh, girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounds. You could like barely she understand English. Here. <laughs> I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. You just throw on a throw an English accent on a little bit of old English in there, and this woman doesn't even know you're a uh, human anymore. I think she may have been from another planet. I couldn't understand. That is a nice car, though. Is that this? It looks like they wanted it to be a Mustang with the way the back is, but I guess, you know, copyrights. What's this? That is definitely the bus driver and somebody pointing the gun at him. What does that mean? Premonition. Okay. Why? Oh, I was stuck. I was like, why are you standing there? Hit the button to speed up. What the fuck is that? And where is that? Is it this way? Sound like a beast of some sort. Oh, motherfucker. The goddamn deer just jumped out there, scared the shit out of me. Wait a minute. Oh. Might get a better view from up there. Yeah, you go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize I was playing. I was all behind the bushes and shit. Ghost towns of the Northeast. Little hope. The town returned to nature, the abiding image of a ghost town in the popular imagination of an arid desert shack surrounded by tumbleweed. However, ghost towns exist even in the lush Northeast of the United States, buried away in forests, forgotten and abandoned to nature. The reasons for towns to become ghosts vary, but inevitably comes back to economics. The town may have boomed for logging, mining, or industry. Then the jobs go and the people with them. The aptly named Little Hope is one such town. One factory community built around textiles that disappeared when cheap exports overwhelmed the market. After many attempts to save the mill, it closed and a mass exodus ensued. Soon the school and even the church closed, leaving a desolate ruin. Wait, can I turn it around? Was there something on the back? I didn't check. Ah, hidden depths. Little hope is a deserted town, but the forest that surround it continue to lure extreme sports enthusiasts. The caverns of Hobbs Deep are famous for the ice climbing, but its ice falls are known to be very dangerous. Recommended viewing architects of Unreadable. 10.30 to 9.30 Central. In this week's episode, Kate Wilder rips the mask off the Zodiac Killer, but thriller hard hitting investigative <laughs> investigative style and earth any new facts about the notorious killer. And this is some just random shit, apparently. Right, there's something else. So it's, oh, it's him. Let's talk. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? I have absolutely no explanation for it. Makes zero sense to me. At least she seems to be coming around as a character and not being such a bitch. It's out there. We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. I got you, Adam Warlock. No oh, shit. What is it? Camp Crystal Lake. What in the fuck is that? Nip. Of all the nopes I ever noped. We're going this way. Away from that thing. The hills have eyes looking shit. Okay, so so far the premonitions we've gotten are Adam Warlock with a gun. Pointing it like an effigy looking thing or some weird shit. 
and then she saw somebody pointing the gun at the head of our bus driver I know his name is not Adam Warlock, but I can't, I'm never going to not think of him as Adam Warlock now. Little Hope Historical Society presents The Witch of Edmonton. A play by W.M. Rowley, Thos Decker, and John Ford performed in historical dress at the Little Hope Middle School. Could this have something to do with what we saw? I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos let me turn down the uh the voice just a smidge shall we continue down this dark and dusty road Oh, wait, is that a, that is a, that's her ear. I see you. Oh, she gone. That was the little girl. I saw like the side of her head. You had to really pay attention to see it, but. Uh, we're going to go up here to the right. I want to see what's, if there's something I can see. Nothing to click on. Okay, what about the other side? No, don't see anything over there. These type of games, I, I, I'm always afraid of missing something. Oh, there's something up ahead. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's a bridge. And creepy one. Which way? Oh shit, we, we gotta choose. It. Amen to that. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Hey, that. that little girl is. Hey, wait! Stop! Why is she running like that? I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. <laughs> Somebody finally said it. What the hell do we do now? Uh, we don't go the way the little girl's going, because that's creepy. I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Famous last words. Hello, murderous little child. Let me talk to you for a second. Uh, go with him. Hold up. I'll come with you. Because if you let him go by himself, he's 100% dead. That's horror movie 101. Uh oh. Hey, you two. Ah. Uh. <gasps> Calm down, girl. This is not good. Oh, I'm playing her still. Confront the girl. Come here, child. We mean you no harm. No shit. Anyone there? Turn your flashlight on, fool. There she is. Hello? Anyone? Wait, am I playing as him now? Oh shit! Get off me! John! What? Why is it you want from me? Who are you? What are you doing here? These are most troubling times. Wait, don't go. Stay away. What the hell are you? What do you want? Look, it's impossible. So they look just alike. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Except she looks younger. Please, Lord, I beg you, rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. 
What in the sugary frosted fuck? Okay, so it seems to be like a uh, a lineage of Let's like people who are all the same person throughout different times. And it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize. And most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Didn't you Splitting just say such a good idea, Taylor. something Nobody about horror movies? I'm going down there. I mean, I am kind of with her too, though. Is it a bad idea to go that I'm way? With John. I'm with Taylor. Seriously? You want to go with her? Okay, for me, this is a bad idea. Very bad. I'll team up with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. The thing is, I don't want any of them to split up. Like, I, I don't, if I didn't go with him, I'm sorry, if I didn't go with them, they'd go off on their own. So like, either way, we're splitting up, which sucks. Like, there's no way Hold not on. to split up right there, I don't think. You hear that? What are you running for? Shit. Shit. Are we okay here? We're good. Where did you run from? Uh, a dude with a bike? Somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. So you jumped away from a dude with a bike. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. All I saw was a dude reaching down to grab a bike. I don't know why you shit yourself for that. A little double X. No, it's an X with a square sideways in the top. Oh, it's an effigy. Oh. We'll get somebody with a club foot back here following us. Are you okay? I wonder where the others are right now. Feels like it's my fault we split up in the first place. It is kind of. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there. You think that was really supernatural? It's sure starting to look that way. Creepy little girl in the fog. Then whatever the hell that was back at the intersection. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Sure. I get that. Either way, our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural ghosts 
whatever else it's sam and dean Win dean winchester -ing them. Out of here. fighting them with salt we need some shotguns with some rock salt no that's just fucking this is a bad idea it's a terrible idea i don't know why would you go in why Wait! Wow. He is a poos. So our, our person that's supposed to be in charge of us is a pussy. He's a puss puss. Modern Magic and Ritual by Ronald Nelson. It's the definitive guide to the subject of magic and for the new age, as opposed to the magic for stage magicians. Written for practitioners to hone their knowledge and art, this book examines in detail all aspects of modern magic and offers readers a rich menu of rituals to practice. New Age Curses. Whether you believe in karmic consequences or not, there are ethical considerations to magic such as curses and hexes. These clearly have greater implications than other ethical conundrums. Like casting love spells on another person, some paths forbid it entirely, while others permit it only in self-defense. However, there are a certain number of questions that the practitioner should ask before casting a harmful spell. Do you dwell too much on the desired results? You may experience disappointment and depression if the result is not what you expected. Are you performing this magic for personal gain? Emotions of avarice or envy might interfere with the magic. It's said that if you don't let go of a grenade, you will eventually blow yourself up. The same can be said working harmful magic. Even if you don't believe the rule of three, it's best to cleave to Rudolf Steiner's golden rule. For every one step you take in pursuit of a higher knowledge, take three steps in the perfection of your own character. Illustration, lock of hair. The hair of a living person could be used in many forms of magic. From love spells to curses, when mixed with sulfur and buried, it can inflict harm on the subject. Next page. The sun and moon. The sun and moon are important to the practical magician. The sun represents death and rebirth of God, whose life cycle is marked by the wheel of the year. The sun is born in the winter solstice, matures in the spring, flourishes in the summer solstice, then wanes in autumn and winter before being reborn. It sustains life, helps the growth of nature that feeds us, and keeps us warm. The moon represents the divine goddess, queen of the heaven. She is the keeper of mysteries, ruler of psychic powers, and unseen realms. The moon is identified with women's menstrual cycles. Its faces are aspects of the triple goddess, so that the waxing moon represents the young maiden, the full moon, the pregnant mother, and the new moon, the crone. The sun and moon represent the cosmic balance of male and female universal forces. Around these symbols revolve many mysteries of human existence, such as love, passion, fertility, death, and rebirth, as well as the afterlife. They inspire the modern magician. Traditional Wiccan covens honor the goddess of the Esbets? Esbets? The full moon, while Druidic tradition celebrates the solar solstices and equinoxes. The sun and moon charms represent male and female. The cosmic lovers, they provide good luck, protection, and fertility for couples. It seems like these are the only two we can read. Yeah, that's all we can read. Oakley dokley. Let's go see where this cat went. ¿Dónde está el gato? This is my gun. It is my gun. I was just joking, but it is my gun. Wow, wow, wow. Bow, bow, bow. Four bullets. Oh, he's a gangster. He didn't even ask questions. He just put that shit in his back. Hell yeah. He's been here before. Let's go find this useless teacher who ran off at the first sign of trouble. No, 
another one of those little Wiccan effigy things. What kind of place is this? Professor? Professor Cowardly Coward? The fuck, man? There you are. You flipped out again. Just like you did on the road. You can't blame me for that. Yeah, I can. What the hell was that in there? A cat. It was nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What am I? In second You're grade? You're fucking acting like it. Hey, a black cat. This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. I know one thing. If something happens, I'm not going to let him help me because he's going to run off and leave me at the first sign of trouble. The cowardly lion with me. Maybe the door's open? No? Well, there's nothing back here. Oh. Was it just a rock? You mean to tell me there's no other rocks anywhere in the world? The hide a key? That would have been hilarious if it was a hide a key. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces, anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? <laughs> oh, strike. We'll make a ball player out of you yet. You think a rookie could make a shot like that? I like how he's like, if you don't, if you don't think you can do this or not, the window is right Looks there. Enough. You're not yeeting it across the, the, like a whole football field worth. You may want to break the glass out of that frame though before you climb in there and slice yourself up. Just saying. Piece of cake. I mean, I don't know anything about B and E. Yeah, leaving all them little sharp spots. That's bad. Bad idea. Oh, we're swapping back to the other people now. Swapping back to my uh, my ex girlfriend, next girlfriend Taylor. She don't know it yet, but her and Daniel, they're not going to work out. She's definitely going to be with me. I know you saw something. It's written all over you. I don't want to discuss it. What I want is to get far away from here. What we got over here? Anything? There's an old bus. Looks a lot like our old bus. What's that noise? I'm sure it's nothing. Wonder what closed the school down. I mean, nobody was here. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. Goes for both of us. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. Is that a road? Ah, yes, the bridge. Is that somebody on the bridge? It is. What the hell? Hey, you, hold up. Oh, fuck you. I'm reading this. I'm reading this map. I don't care about you. Little Hope Bridge. 1962. Okay. I don't really care about that little girl. She's already tried to kill us once. Is this playground? Little Hope Bridge. Yeah, let's go. Oh, great. Go to the playground. More, more little ghost kids. What was that? Was that a swing set making noise? Oh, I 
see something shiny. Gotta go look. Is this? I don't. I can't tell what that is. Is somebody praying? It looked like somebody sitting in front of somebody else who was like praying or something. I couldn't tell. Uh, baby girl, you're kind of in the way here. Oh, you son of a bitch. Over there. Why are we chasing her? Just like Hey. Are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little girl you saw with Andrew before? She's dressed different. Don't get too close. Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Tell me that didn't just happen. Quiet now. I will not be caught. What are you talking about? Get away or he will find me. <gasps> All right, where's Chris Hansen? I, I know very well you're in there. Please. Definitely need Chris go. Hansen. I will release you once I'm sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me and you will say nothing. No. Let go of her right now. What spell have you cast? I am frozen to my marrow. I do nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. She is the one in league with the devil. I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. He's giving real pedophile vibes. Be silent, child. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can someone tell me what just happened? Back in the house. The girl with the priest. That's the one I saw with. Hold on, hold on. Back in the house. When she was talking to people. Is she talking to us? Because right now she was like, thank you kindly to him. To Daniel. Because he stopped the priest. This is some fucking like fourth wall next level shit. Holy. Okay. There must be a connection between her and the other girl. I think you're right. I... I don't get it. We have to get away from here. Far away. Agreed. Let's go. I feel like the little girl can see through time and see other people in the same place at the same time. So she just thanked Daniel and the priest got mad and was like, shut up. Another premonition. Pick it up. Oh shit. So she uh, apparently got pulled down and smacked in the face by the rocks. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. <clears throat> I guess you can come too. Oh, it's really dark. I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. What could mean? What are we looking at? Here, need a hand? Oh no, this is where she goes down and falls and gets whooped by the... Oh, she's about to die. She's 100% about to die. Let me help you. Ooh. Ooh, I almost forgot the buttons. I forgot this is a quick time event game. I had to look down at my controller because I am not. I don't have muscle memory with an Xbox or a PlayStation controller anymore. 
Fuck, I almost dropped her. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Wherever it leads, it's wreaking havoc on my shoes. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. I'm going up this way. Oh, this is not good. Runes? Okay. Found a secret. Is it secret? Is it safe? Bilbo Baggins! Alright, let's go see. Oh, Walmart shopping cart. We're in the hood. Place must have been a grocery store or something. Stop the didn't work out too well. Oh, stop the Raven and Factory closure. I like how I was trying to turn my head to read the damn thing when it was actually you could just read it on the screen. I'm an idiot. Raccoon coming out of here, hundred percent. Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice. Just hitting the wrong button. All right, we're not going to do that yet. Now what? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. <laughs> Bro, you should have been able to muscle up that. Like, you should have been able to jump and pull yourself up. Gotta work on upper body, my guy. Seriously? You're going in there? Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I'm not sure. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. It'll be fine. You got Angela here with you. Don't take a Sunday morning stroll when you hey, get in there. Hey, Max right Daniels back. and Taylor's relationship. Promise. Got you, baby girl, with your little pixie haircut. You know I got you, it's fine. Little cute ass. I'm gonna go in here and die real fast, cause it's a fucking horror movie. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Girl, throw it to me. We in a relationship. You know I'm quick. Oh, oh. I almost forgot the buttons again. She's Jesus Christ. This is why I didn't want to use a controller. Because I knew I would like almost miss a bunch of quick times. I'm in. That's think what she safe? said. Think so. Fuck no, it ain't safe. What do you mean? You, yes, you think so. You've been here for five seconds. What was that? <laughs> Notice of closure. Effective June 28th, 1975. I wish to inform you that on Saturday, June 28th, the store will close. Sadly. Due to the decline in business since the closure of the factory, we are unable to continue trading. However, Whitman Mart wishes to thank all of the customers for their support over the years. And stocks removed. Snacks, mag, alcohol. Oh, so they left the magazine and the cans and the electrical goods and miscellaneous. They took all the firearms. What a bitch. This is a dead end. That's fucked. Wait, is this not a doorway right next to me? There it is. What's that? Premonition! Let's go! Okay, there's a knife somewhere. A knife we can get? Read the paper. You know, what else are we doing? Local minister arrested. He's a pedophile. A minister in the diocese of the Pleasant River has been arrested for complaints from concerned parents about his behavior. The arrest comes after the revelation that the minister conducted an alleged satanic mass. An eyewitness said that the minister of St. David's Church in Little Hope did not resist as he was escorted from his home. Captain Daniel McGuire confirmed that Reverend Leonard Carson was being held in custody at Little Hope Police Department awaiting charges. I've never seen the minister do anything untoward. His interest in witchcraft was purely academic, and he would often warn parents of the spiritual dangers of the occult. Another parishioner 
who do not wish to be named claim that the minister was innocent of wrongdoing. The child is known as an attention seeker, and I'm certain she has made up the story. Other members of the congregation agreed. Reverend Carson was a good man, a godly man, said a mother of three. I can't believe he'd do anything like this. He's been good to our family. These accusations are lies. The DA's office would not respond to calls. When contacted, the office of the Diocese of Pleasant River stated the bishop had declined to comment, but that a deacon, and that's the end of that, I still think he's a pedophile. He's giving off some real creepy vibes. I'm just saying. Hello? Anyone there? That is a lot of flashlights. Hello? Who's there? Hey! Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Ooh, gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Can you step on it? We'd like to get out of here sometime. Sure thing. Yes, ma'am. Yo, battle axe. All right, let's go. Potatoes. Hold on. I'll be right there. Will you relax? I'm coming. Oh, wait. Shit. Are you going to pull me back in time? How the hell? Back door is locked. What troubles you? Tell me. What is happening? Sooner will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is he? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What? I don't know you. John? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Something ails you. What? You seem changed, even your attire. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You will be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this. My word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. Yep. Religious folks, man, I tell you.
Where the hell have you been? You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? Yep. Oh, this was different. I think they could see and hear me. It was hard to tell exactly. They seemed really spooked. You see anything else? Priest. The one from the playground. I don't know. It, it didn't make much sense. You're kidding me. No. He was real scared. Like, he believed the devil was in little hope. Holy shit. I got the same feeling when I met my double. They all fear the devil is coming for them. What in the hell are we mixed up in here? Oh. We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. What the fuck? What is this build a bitch? Oh, I'm in the police. Okay, we're back on Adam Warlock. What do you think? Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. These small town police stations all look the same. Yeah, I'm like 12. You think I've been in a small town police station before, though? There's got to be a phone in here someplace. What is that? <laughs> I'm mad that scared me. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, nothing that way. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go in this room that's open. Something's gonna jump out. Oh, Reynolds. Is that a sober chip? What is that? Police department badge. Or patch, not badge. I've lost everything. Okay. Sad, sad for you. Um, see nothing in there. I'm not going to click on this door yet. Because I don't want to advance. Like, I don't want to go through that door and then, like, miss something out here. Keep looking. What do you think I'm doing? Certificate of commendation. On January 16th, 1972, officers George Reynolds and Ernie Hoffman responded to a call concerning a house fire. Arriving before the fire surface, the officers, with no concern for their own safety, rushed into the house to attempt to rescue the family members trapped inside. Tragically, many lives were lost, so they were beaten back by the flames. However, the mayor, chief of police, and grateful public thanked the police department for their service. Okay, so that was the house fire for... The prologue, I'm pretty sure. Gotta be. Radio. Fucking thing. Oh, it's chopped off. I thought this was her way out. Okay, so there's still that door we didn't go through or didn't check. Let's go this way. Oh my god, he scared me. I saw him stand up and thought it was something else. 
There's got to be something. Hippie. Hippie junk. TC. In the hippie junk box. Read this. Old Witch Jail. Built in 1684, demolished in 1783. In 1962, during the Little Hope Witch Trials, many of the accused were imprisoned here. Kind of want to go check that door, but at the same time, I want to go this way. Okay, so the only thing here is that door. So we're going to go back to the other door where he's heading. We're going to check it first. I'm afraid if I go through the other door first, it'll be the correct way. And I kind of want to go the wrong way. Which in a horror movie is probably not a good idea, but whatever. Locked. Cool. That's what I wanted to know. Mother... Stop popping up out of nowhere, you... Creepy fuck. Wait, can we go in that room? Did I miss it? Is there a door? There is. I'm glad I didn't go through that other door yet. Oh, telephone. We have a winner. Found a phone. Make sure it works first. This could be our way out. Mine's dead. Shit! Come, come, te pendejo. Take it easy. I'm thinking I know what's wrong. Please, it's do not share. plugged in. There's no cable plugged in. I, there's got to be a cable here someplace. Uh, the only place we haven't been is that one door right here to the left. Well, shit, that's locked too. Mother what fucker. is that? Scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. That was loud and scared the fuck out of me. What do you think? Answer it. Why not? I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. Yeah, Professor Dingleberry. What can you hear? A woman. A witch trial? She sounds real upset. Talk to her. Try to get some details, her location, anything we can use to find her. Can I ask, what's your name? As I walked, a man and a woman appeared at my front. I had not seen them approach. I, I reached out in fear. I did not know them. Their clothes and manner of... Okay, it's So she's all good. talking about meeting us. I'm going to help you out here if I can, but I... I need to know your name. <laughs> I'm so falsely accused of crime. Hey! Mm. Get off of me! Bitch! How dare you? Yeah, she was talking about meeting us in the woods. Diego, I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. You were giving off some Chris Hansen's vibe. You know that, right? 
know if a word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night, and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Well, now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time is gone begging. Go be with your kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All what? his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay quiet. We just let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors, those who know me best, will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. <clears throat> I beg the court's forgiveness, but I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. I beg you, good judge, let us conclude our business here without further ado lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you turned against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. If I am correct, your touch will release her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. Please. The master can't help you now. It is too late. Oh, they think I'm the devil. Who is this Quaker art looking they motherfucker? Are here among us. They are here among us. No. This little girl and the priest are in it together. He's he's like telling her to do this Once shit. more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little <laughs> hole. Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this bed. Yeah, look at her. Look, Protect creepy yourselves. stuff. Seek out the laws. Fuck that little girl. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Felt pretty damn real to me. Seriously? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. She ain't had no seizure. What do you think was going on there? I think the priest and her are with it. I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Exactly. Or by meddling liars. Like that little girl who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. The woman we just saw condemned? I saw her back at the intersection. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Nobody looks like Adam Warlock yet. 
Except for the kid in the, the prologue. Professor? You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor, we're in here. We can't open the damn doors. We can't either. They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. Hola. Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Are you okay? I'm fine. Why the concern, John? What's bugging you? We saw Angela's double get tried and condemned for being a witch. Okay, so now what? Uh, we've already tried a few places and come up with nothing. Except enough weird shit to put us in therapy for life. Forget about what's happened so far. Our best shot at finding help is in town. Really? Forget about what's happened? There's some real scary shit going down in the outskirts, and our plan is to stroll into the center of Weirdsville? Just a suggestion, but maybe we should figure out what the fuck is going on here first. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. To the witch trial. What the hell? I'm guessing that's where we're going. I really don't know. There's a bunch of places we can go. We can go to witch trial, museum, execution site, church, historical ruin. This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. The geeky exterior is all play. There's a warrior in there. Yeah. Go half on a baby. What? John, Main Road, 1242. Oh, I just realized that shit. You guys can't see like who I'm playing as because sorry about that. I just realized that you guys can't tell what's going on in the bottom left when it pops up because my camera was there. Lead your students toward town. Stick together. This fog is getting worse. Well, I gotta go look over here. Here we go. Tilly Johnson. I can't read that. What is that? Is that a bust of a, a statue? It is. Taylor. You need to see this. Oh, it's Taylor. She's Tilly. You've got to be kidding me. What is that thing? You ever have any family here? In this shithole? No way. Why does that weird fucking thing look like me? Apparently your name is Tilly Johnson. I couldn't read what it said about you, but... Have we not been through this bridge before? Where's all these creepy fucking bridges? Is there a car coming? for shit. Jesus. The water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. It looks black because it's nighttime. Well, that's a problem. Okay. Who's first up? Hmm. Professor, you keep telling us you're in charge. 
Okay. Sure shit. Let me look at these buttons. Is it safe to cross? Oh no. Don't stress. The professor and me will make sure you get across, no problem. Right, we'll we'll get you over for sure. Okay. <gasps> Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck a quick time up. Well, this is where somebody dies. Can't stay here. Oh, bird, don't you start with me. God damn it. Year of our Lord, 1692. 1692. We are a witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. I don't know how to help you. Tell me what I can do. Please, sir. You must help me. You must. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here. Throw his little bitch ass in the, the water. Will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. Just kick one of them in the water. You cannot do this. Especially I Jared from Subway in the, the priest court. outfit. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for us all. Little Hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Lil Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by a cute. While Mary still draws breath, Lil Hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference be your very fix. Isaac. Wait, can we jump in and get her? No. Wait, is Angela gonna drop dead now because she died? saw your double was pushed into the river in chains she drowned well that's creepy I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here. 
Yoink. That's not good. That's terrible. What the hell is that? That's your double. 100%. What is that thing? Get away from it. Oh, it is. It's got chains on it. Run! Get the hell out of there! Look out! Oh, no. This is where she Shit. dies. She gets whipped around the chain. This is where she dies. helped her is because the premonition showed her getting like a chain or a rope like whipped around her ankle at that point so if i have helped him she would have got fucked phew that was really quite close for angela i know she was almost lost to a fate worse than death not that there's anything particularly wrong with death well done not a soul lost so far oh it's still early Things could have been quite different. As the stakes seem to have been elevated, that gun might prove to be a lifesaver. Don't you think? Or the precise opposite? Andrew is keeping it quiet. Good move. Look after number one, right? boys had some interesting theories could they as andrew has suggested be the reincarnated souls of their historical counterparts or maybe you're choosing to believe daniel's theory that they're already dead my dream was lengthened after life oh then began the tempest to my soul i passed me thought the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman, which poets write of, unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. Who the hell is the bus driver, sir? This must be very confusing for you right now. Doppelgangers, witches, ghosts, death, and demons. What could possibly tie all of these souls together? I guess you mean aside from the fact they all look alike? I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. Tempted? No. You're going it alone. Brave. Independent. Possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Go on then. As terrifying as it might be, you should get back to it. Oh. Oh, it's Angela. Wait. What in the name of holy fuck was that? You're on, no? I've never seen anything it was like you. it. It was like something from a nightmare. Did you see the way it looked? The gaping mouth, those dead, soulless eyes. 
Whatever it was, it's gone now. I was nearly gone. If that thing had caught me, it was so close. You've had the crap scared out of you. We all have. But at least we got the fuck away from it. We did. Thank God we're all okay. Right now, we're safe. That thing, whatever the fuck it was, is still out there. Could be hunting us as we speak. Nah, it's pretty slow, though. It was in chains. Just like the woman who went in the water. I don't believe that's coincidence. Nope, that's her. Either of you see what happened to Taylor and Daniel? They can't be far behind us. Pretty sure they're still on the bridge. Oh, God. What's tied up here? Oh, no, something's behind you, bitch. Let's just get out of here. Son of a... Well, I have to go look at what this is. Here lies the body of Isaac Worrell, age 43 years, died... Oh, no, December... What? I think it's supposed to say died. October 21st, 1702. Requies in pass. In peace. Rest in peace. Oh, actually, shit. We've been recording for like two and a half hours. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. This is just episode one. We're going to come back. I'm going to do episode however many it takes to get to the end of this. I love horror games, first of all. And I love these type of games where your decisions actually do impact the story. It's not just a cut and dry cookie cutter. Doesn't matter what you really do. You're going down the same path regardless. Love these type of games. So I'm, I really want to keep playing, but I also don't want to have to edit a super long video and upload it to YouTube. I'm looking forward to making videos on other video games and different genres like this, for example. But if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like, comment, and subscribe. If you played this game already, please don't spoil anything for me in the comments, but please do let me know how you liked it. Like these type of games, I fucking love them. With that being said, I hope you all have a good one and I will catch you in the next episode. You guys take it easy.